Back locally, it has been five months since the city of Milford voted to hire a city planning and marketing firm to create a downtown master plan. Well, now that process is underway, and tonight is the first time that members of the public are invited to share their opinions. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief, Evan Kozlov, joins us now in the Bureau. And Evan, uh, this comes at a cost, though. Good afternoon, Steve. And yeah, the firm's services cost just over $27,000, of which the city was responsible for just over $3,000. Soon a map will be, uh, well, some, soon a plan will be mapped out, that is, for the downtown area. But first, tonight is all about listening. Nestled right in downtown Milford is this shop, Good News Natural Foods. And inside, owner Donna DeLecky is hard at work. And when talking about downtown's future, she has one main focus. Foot traffic, we have some. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough. But the question is how to increase foot traffic. Teleki says she has some ideas. I think the key is to generate interest in children. I think if we have more things for children, that will bring the parents and the grandparents down to Milford. So hopefully, I think the, the children are the key to the future of our country and also of downtown Milford. And ideas like these are exactly what the city is looking for at its meeting Tuesday night. I think we'll have a good crowd there tonight. Mayor Brian Shoup says they're expecting about 60 people to show up, and he says a lot of options are on the table. There's many things that can be added downtown, uh, but I think the biggest thing is we want to look at attracting more restaurants in the downtown area. I believe that that will help us become more of a destination. Uh, we'll also grow some retail business businesses as well, also create recreational opportunities for us. Meanwhile, back in the downtown area, resident Daniel Beck is cleaning windows at the Georgia House restaurant. A musician who does gigs around town, he says the more places to go, the better for businesses. Some more restaurants, some more bars, maybe you know, put a movie theater around here. You know what I mean, something, something else like that. There's not a lot of extracurricular things like that to do around here besides stuff your face. All for the future of this city. All right, now I mentioned before that the city was only responsible for about $3,000 of the cost. The remaining cost is being paid for by a grant from the Delaware Economic Development Office. On top of that, an additional $20,000 has been allocated from local funds for the implementation of that master plan. From the Bureau, this is Evan Kozlov. Back to you, Steve. All right, Evan, thanks very much. We have more details on this week's workshop in uh, Milford. The first town hall meeting will be held tonight at 6 o'clock at the arenas on Front Street in Milford. Uh, then on Thursday, the firm will make their final presentation of the plan. That will also be at 6 o'clock on Front Street at Abbott's Grill in downtown Milford.